Hello, good morning. I hope you're fine. Happy Feast of the Assumption of our Blessed Virgin Mary into Heaven. Today I'd like to talk to you about walking in the footsteps of Mary. Walking in the footsteps of Mary. I'm going to be brief today, so that's because there are Masses and I expect you to go to Mass if you can. So the Lord talks to us today in the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 1 from verses 39 to 58, about the visitation of Mary to Elizabeth. So what happens in this text is that Mary had just received the visit of Angel Gabriel telling her that she was going to be pregnant by the power of the Holy Spirit and as proof tells her that her cousin Elizabeth is also pregnant with child and she is now in her sixth month. So Mary goes to visit Elizabeth and of course we know this story. Elizabeth is full of joy and John the Baptist, a child in the womb of Elizabeth, begins to leap for joy. So Mary sings her Magnificat. Now, I want to quickly underline three things here for us about how we too can walk in the footsteps of Mary. The first thing I'd like to underline there is that as soon as Mary heard the message from the angel, she believed the word of God. Child of God, there's not much we can do in life without believing what God has promised us. If you believe it, it will work. That is why the Bible says that blessed is he or she who believes that the promise made her by the Lord will be fulfilled. Those are the words of Elizabeth. So that's the first thing that I think is very important for us to take on this day, that God has promised us that he will not allow our bodies to know corruption. Of course, that's why at the end of her life, Elizabeth was, um, sorry, Mary was taking body and soul into heaven. That's a feast that we celebrate today, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Because God keeps his word. He promised it and he did it. To us too, he promises things. If only we believe, he will also do them. The second thing I'd like to underline here is that Mary went in haste to her cousin's house because she knew that in three months, she would no longer need her help. Child of God, are there things you've been thinking about doing for someone? You better go about doing them right now. There's impo it's important to start doing those things now that you cannot do later. Because after three months, Elizabeth will no longer need Mary's help as a pregnant woman. There are, there's that kid that wants, God wants to pay his or her school fees right now. I tell you, in 10 years, that child may no longer need your help. Recently, I had a friend who asked me for some help. I couldn't help at the time. Unfortunately, when I reached the back and tried to listen to what she had to say, she said, don't worry, I have uh, sorted myself out. I've talked to another priest. Child of God, there are some things that will be late by the time you are ready. So Mary is inviting us today to follow in her footsteps of going out immediately when we can to go and help those who are in need. The third thing I'd like to underline in this text is that helping people can be difficult. Yes, Mary had to climb up a mountainous region. Don't ever think that helping people is an easy thing. You're just going to do it because you can. Of course, there are going to be challenges. There are going to be people who will stab you in the back. Helping people is difficult. It's a mountainous region. But yes, that's what we are called to do, to climb this mountain like Mary. Because at the end of the mountain, there is joy. At the end of the mountain, there is liberty. At the end of the mountain, there is happiness. That's what happened by the time Mary reached the house of Elizabeth. The child in Elizabeth's, in Elizabeth's womb began to leap for joy. Perhaps somebody's dream is just lying away, slipping away. God is sending you today to go and wake up that dream in that child. God is sending you today to go and make the child of someone to kick once again. I don't know who God is sending you to, but it's time to be on your way. The mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Happy Feast Day.